friends, welcome to Mimi's Mixed Bag. I've mentioned before on my channel that I don't have a lot of natural light in my house, and so I am taking the opportunity to film out in my backyard. I'm gonna scoot over here just a little bit and show you my banana trees, how tall they are. Some of them are six and eight foot tall. Here in about another month, when frost hits, I'm gonna have to chop them down even with the ground. But we just really love our backyard during the summer. But today I have got a super cute fall project for you, and it is a full body scarecrow. And if you're new here and like what you see, I would greatly appreciate it if you would hit that subscribe button. And all of you can hit the notification bell at the bottom and be alerted whenever I upload a new project. When I originally saw this project, it was made with clay pots, so keep that in mind. I was going to try an alternative and just use some plastic little pots. They may be easier to find, and that way you'll know that the plastic ones work. So now you've got a couple options to create this. It'll be much lighter, easier to hot glue, and I think will come out equally as cute. So I'm gonna take you inside and show you the rest of the supplies. Here are my four pots. Just so you know, mine are four and a half inches wide across. If you're using the plastic pots, you're gonna need some some kind of little baggie of pebbles, rock, sand, something for some weight because we're gonna actually hot glue these into a tower. You're gonna need some weight, but of course clay pots are heavy enough. You're gonna need some scrap fabric. And what I mean by scrap size fabric, about the size of a placemat, just so that you know what you need. Um, I need two pieces for the blue jeans that he's gonna be wearing, a piece for the shirt. I'm gonna need a little scar fabric. So about three different kinds, some raffia that we're going to embellish him with. He's gonna have like a little belt across his belly area. So about 12 inches of burlap or some kind of ribbon. For his arms, I'm just gonna cut a large craft stick cut in half. Some flesh colored paint. For the details of his face, I'm gonna be using a black and orange Sharpie and glue gun, scissors. And last but not least, you're gonna need a small straw hat. I went to Hobby Lobby a couple days ago and at my store, they're located on the back far corner wall near the miniature dollhouse supplies. So this eight inch hat is about $1.50. Now it, your hat really all depends on the size pot you use. You could buy extra large pots and your scarecrow could be three or four foot tall or small ones like I'm using and my scarecrow completed is gonna be about 16 inches tall. So I'm gonna clear this out and we'll get started on the first step. These two pieces are gonna be the blue jeans part and it's gonna take two of the four pots. There's really no right or wrong way to cover your pot with fabric just hot glue it in place and roll it and, and then trim up the top and the bottom so that it's nice and neat the only thing you need to be mindful of is that you will have a seam on the side of your pot so just make sure that that will be the back side of your scarecrow right, got one of my blue jeans covered now and let me just show you how simple it is i had to cut off quite a bit of extra but just take your time and get your pot covered nice and neat and smoothly now i just run a bead of hot glue inside the pot and glued the edges down it doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to glue them in a tower and this is not even going to show. Repeat this process one more time in the blue and then my shirt with the sunflowers. And just want to show you the inside and the top. Back. So any imperfection you have, just make sure that's the back of your scarecrow. I'm going to hot glue my legs together just like that. Now this is where I'm going to put my bag of rocks in the second pot and that's just really going to give it some weight now i'm going to take my shirt find my seam part and i'm going to hot glue it on top of this and now so, we're ready to work on his little arms i'm going to just hot glue the fabric around the popsicle stick so i'm going to make sure i have a little bit of fabric that will be sandwiched in between the next pot overlap it just a little bit like that all right i have his little ribbon belt hot glued in place we now have a headless scarecrow now we're ready to paint on the fourth pot right. All right, I've got a couple coats of paint on my flower pot. And just so you know what color I used, it was Apple Barrel Sun-Kissed Peach is a good flesh color. All right, it's not quite ready for me to put the face on, but it is dry enough for me to go ahead and hot glue it on my body. Now I'm ready to hot glue a little raffia in his sleeves and around his hairline. All right, to make his little hand embellishments, I've got a piece of raffia that's a yard. Wrap this raffia around two fingers and and just kind of squeeze it together so I've just got a loops of raffia. I went ahead and squirted some hot glue up in the sleeve and then squeezed the little loops I had up in the sleeve. Cut the little end tip off so he'll kind of look more like a scarecrow. All right, just want to show you that I 
just squirted about an inch of hot glue at a time and just hot glued little inch pieces of raffia all the way around. All right, before I actually put my face on, I did a couple practice eyes and nose and mouth just so that I can get a little feel for what I'm doing because once you put this permanent marker on there, there's no going back. All right, so I got my face drawn on there. I'm pretty happy with it. All right, and here is my full body scarecrow. Got just a couple notes and maybe a change I would have done is I would have made his hair a little longer. I mean, it's cute the way it is, but I think it would be even cuter if his hair was longer. And I had to really play around with this little scarf. I needed it long enough to make the knot, but then I didn't want it wide enough where it came down on his arm. So you may just have to play around with your little scrap fabric so that it works with whatever flower pot you use. Now, if you decide to paint the blue jeans like just a, a navy blue color, you could, you know, do some little stitch marks and make it look like two legs and pockets and things like that. The original one I saw was all painted. I just thought this would be easier for me to hot glue fabric. And I just embellished his little hat to coordinate with his shirt. He's just going to be so cute somewhere in my house. So I hope you like this as much as I do. I'll be back next week with something cute to share. Bye-bye.